Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? It's Alexander Hilly123 here, and it's time for another NHL 94 Montreal Canadiens video today. And we are into the final straight now. We are coming close to the end. That is right. A minimum of four videos remaining in this series, a maximum of seven. Basically, it just depends on what happens in the up and coming games. Yeah, we're against the Los Angeles Kings, and there it is. It is the final. It all comes down to this. We're going to play away two games. As we can see, they are marginally better than ourselves. But then again, so were the Pittsburgh Penguins. And we beat them in straight games. Robitaille, Gretzky, Sandstrom, all good players. The defensive side, McSawlin. I don't know how you pronounce the goalie's name, though. But yeah, they're not <coughs> too strong. Whereas, as you can see, we've got the best goalie in the league. Well, second after Red Belfort. But yeah. I'm hoping I can win them in four straight games because I haven't lost a game so far. I've won all the second round, quarterfinal, semi-final, all in four games. Let's see if I can do it in the final. Here we go. It has all come down to this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope our big players come to the fore. Well, this game has started quite tentatively for both sides so far. It is the Stanley Cup final and no one wants to make any silly mistakes, early on especially. And here is Brian Bellows looking to get the spark going, at least for the Canadians. But here come the LA Kings, and that was a great strike. Well, LA are one point worse off than Pittsburgh, but I have always believed that LA are a better team than Pittsburgh on this game. They've got potent attack, especially Sandstrom, Robitaille and Gretzky. You can tell the way they're passing the puck around. He's very good. And they've had a few attempts now. Montreal lucky to survive though, but here's Vincent Dampus. Good serve. And the LA Kings goaltender there. Bit of hooking, the referee let that go. Here's Brian Bellows. He's stopped from shooting. They're very good at hooking so far. And they seem quite resolute defensively, but here's a chance to score. Oh, and what a goal! From a crazy angle. Vincent Dampus, ladies and gentlemen. We have the first goal <coughs> of the Stanley Cup final. And look at that. Wow. The goaltender shouldn't be beaten from there. But Vincent Dampus, I think he scored a similar goal in one of the games against Pittsburgh from a pretty peculiar tight angle like that. Well, he must be an expert at it. That could have been two. The game is really warming up now. The Canadians probably, arguably, the most famous and greatest NHL team of all time. There's a penalty being given the first of the game. Hooking by... Nope, not going to bother. <laughs> JJ something. Oh, hey up. I think this uh, organ song is making its first appearance in the series. It's two. It's Keen. Goodness gracious, they're sitting by Muller and Odeling. Finally Odeling. He's made an appearance. Kurt Muller with an assist. He's used to scoring, but as you can see, he's playing from the left. Showing that he can be a team player, even though he's usually the man who scores the goals. And all of a sudden, it's becoming very one-sided. Have the LA Kings at home in the Stanley Cup final. Got a response. Oh, what a lucky goal that is! It's Sandstrom! Watch that bat, ladies and gentlemen. That was a catastrophe. Well, I wouldn't really call it poor defending. I didn't really do anything wrong, but they didn't really work for that goal, LA. It was just so lucky. I don't make excuses. That was just pure lucky. Damn. <laughs> wow, this is really heating up now. 20 seconds remaining in the first period. The Kings have the puck now with Thomas Sandstrom. He nearly got his second of the game. Montreal dumped the puck. And that is the end of the first period. Canadians are leading in Los Angeles the first game of this final series and well after a slow start the game has become quite simply incredible there's just too much for me to talk about the weird Los Angeles goal um, Dampus's goal from a weird angle great play all round the referee hasn't got involved much what do the second and third period have in store well, it was very nearly an early goal in the second Better passing from Montreal. Much better indeed. 
but they've lost the puck and here's a counter Thomas Sandstrom a few weeks before I started making these Montreal Canadiens videos I had a Stanley Cup run with LA so I know what it's like to play as them on this game and Sandstrom <coughs> is my favourite player in this team he's just brilliant there's no other thing to say about him but there we have it he's brilliant as well Brian Bellows assisted by Paddy Roy the goaltender it is 3-1 to Montreal they've got a two goal cushion yet again ladies and gentlemen here's number 20 I think that's Robert I I used to call him Robbie Telly when I was younger <laughs> but I believe it is Robert I how you pronounce his name pretty weird name might be Italian I'm guessing Kirk Muller, oh he was shaping to shoot then, not only was he shaping to shoot, he was shaping to absolutely smash the puck and he's in that position yet again and there's only one outcome his first goal of the final and just past the midway point of the second period you might well have just finished the Kings off who knows, a quick fire LA goal, they're back in it but Free goal cushion now. That man Muller getting in on proceedings, and that can only mean bad news for the Kings. What about that for a body check? <laughs> Offside. Oh, look at that. The biggest hit of the game so far, and M. McSorley. I think it might be Marty McSorley. Reminds me of Back to the Future for some reason. Not Marty McFly, it was Marty McSorley. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't even see you got put in the penalty box there due to my incoherent battling LA come out and attack oh that's a good save from Patrick Roy spills out to Thomas Sandstrom but he's denied again it's Sandstrom versus Roy at the moment non-stop and Roy is coming out on top oh another huge hit number 43 he's not used to being in this position Kurt Muller Nearly got his second goal of the game, just over one minute remaining of the second period now. It has been Montreal's period, no doubt about that. The Kings haven't played very well. They've had quite a few chances here and there. But they're allowing Montreal to especially attack them through the middle of the ice. And I think there are more goals to come for the Canadians. They've been doing it all season, destroying every team in their path. Number 26. I can't remember who he is. I might find out. I will find out. With two seconds remaining on the clock, it's Lehman. Patrick Roy, ladies and gentlemen. He's a goaltender and he's made three assists. That's quite simply incredible. 5-1 at the end of the second period. And well, this has got to be all but over. The Kings are going to need an instant response, an instant goal within the first minute of the third period. Um, but I think it was against Pittsburgh, the last game where we won 5-4 in overtime. That was the closest and most engrossing game, I think, so far in the series. The CPU sometimes do manage to get a quick fire double, so who knows? It is the final, anything can happen. But at the moment, it looks like it's going to be the Canadians, Canadians who managed to go 1 0 up in the series. Let us see what's going to go down right now. Here's Wayne Gretzky. He nearly got his goal. Oh, but Patrick Roy hits the stick of Kirk Muller. Oh, and Muller, he's down. <laughs> he's out for the period. Third period, no Kirk Muller. This is going to be interesting. That's definitely not happened. But at the same time, LA Kings are going to lose their best player, Thomas Sandstrom. Two minutes for roughing. Very intriguing. Quite simply incredible that the scoreline is 6-1 to the Canadians now in a match as big as this, the Stanley Cup final. They don't seem to change their philosophy and their mentality regardless of the opposition they play and that seems to serve them well. Oh it's a goal though, it's a goal back, Sandstrom, tell you what, his first goal was lucky. That's kind of lucky as well because if the first goal was not my fault, that one most certainly was. I quite simply turned back with the goaltender and accidentally put it in my own net. Oh well. Pretty damn certain I've spoke about that and how it happens every so often on this game. Um, if you go about three or four games without doing it once, I'd say you've done pretty well.
but he got away with it. There's been some comical defending <laughs> in this third period. And that was no different. What on earth is that all about? I couldn't even see where the puck was there. That was crazy. I think after recording all these videos, I think even I'm getting a little bit tired now of playing this game, even though I love it so much. Whilst making these videos, I've really acquired a newfound respect for any person on YouTube who lets plays a long series without getting many views, believe me. Every like counts, every comment counts, every view counts, basically. Um, that is the way it is on YouTube now, even for people with thousands of subscribers. You can expect a video on that after I've finished these NHL videos, actually. It's a very, very sad state of affairs. So, yeah, I'll speak about that soon, guys. Back to the action, though, on the ice. Just over a minute to go in the third period. And it is 6-2 to the Montreal Canadiens. Surely the game is over. But I tell you what, I think the Kings have deserved a third and fourth goal in the third period. And if it wasn't Patrick Roy between the nets... Well, they would most certainly have those goals. But thankfully for Montreal, the first and second period performances were much better than the third, and that has been the basis of their victory today. <laughs> As that guy gets cleaned out. Here's Gretzky. Can he get on the score sheet very late on? Nearly, but not quite. Four seconds left. And it's a penalty shot. Oh, here, here is Gretzky's chance. First penalty shot for the CPU in quite a while. And it is absolutely pathetic. Weak backhand shot there from Gretzky. And he does not have a goal to his name in this final first game of the series. Yeah, star of the game, Thomas Sandstrom. I cannot agree with, disagree with that. He definitely was. Kurt Muller, the second star of the game. And the fellow whose name I can't pronounce, third star of the game. Yeah, a bit of a quiet game for Vincent Dampus, Brian Bellows, Matt Schneider, our defenceman, our main defenceman, I should say. But yeah, the first period of the game started off very excitingly. Um, continued in the second, the third period was very scrappy from a Montreal perspective. LA probably deserved a third and fourth goal. The game was a little bit closer than the scoreline suggests, in my opinion. Oh my lord, will you look at that? They had six more shots than us. To be fair, they did have nearly three minutes of full power play than we had. They beat us on the face-offs. And they had a lot more attack zone time, but absolutely immense passing from both teams. Hockey of the highest quality. But Montreal, they were clinical in that match. And they are 1-0 up in the series. 1-0 up. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about the goals and assists. I'll look at that with a fine-tooth comb um, after... The series is over, probably after the fourth game. If I get my wish and I win four games in a row. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, 1 0 up. Please join me for the next instalment of NHL 94 Montreal Canadiens, where we'll be looking to win in LA again. Thank you for watching. See you soon.